Board of Trustees of Northern Quezon College Incorporated Chairman Alan E. Bore Vice Chairman Ronald P. Orejola Members Maria Luisa A. Avila Yolanda R. Misostom Juanito A. Dislacar Alejo P. Romantico Emily L. Burgo Jaime O. Establecida Presentacion S. Ujeda Ricardo O. Macasayat III College President Dr. Ruben A. Sanchez Department Head Ms. Leia Hermogenes Department Head Mr. Morris M. Centeno E.S. Department Head Dr. Ferdinand C. Lacuana College Dean Faculty Members The global landscape has been radically changed by the COVID pandemic. Our routinized way of life has moved dramatically to see a new normal, resulting in the so-called new normal of education. Many educational events and occasions have been affected by this pandemic, including graduation ceremonies. As we are all aware, Graduation Day is usually a joyous event since it signifies the end of the educational journey and the start of a new, more unpredictable and challenging chapter in a person's quest for a better life and future. Today truly represents the culmination of many years of hard effort and the pursuit of knowledge and information that will enable a person to accept opportunities and take on difficulties with clarity and purpose. Students, parents, teachers, staff, administrators, and viewers, good, good day. day! Finally, the, the long wait is, is over! For, for today is the 27th commencement, commencement exercises for batch 2019-2020 of Northern Quezon College Incorporated with the theme, Passing Through the Crossroad of Challenges, a Breakthrough to a Better Future. To begin with, may we all put ourselves in the presence of our Almighty God as we join with the Reverend Nathaniel Villapria for the invocation. We'll all pray. Sovereign God Almighty, we invoke your presence and uh, leading for this year's NQCI commencement exercises. We acknowledge you as the prime mover of the seasons and events in our lives, allowing greatness and success to happen as we endeavor to achieve goals, dreams, and aspirations amidst the challenges of global COVID-19 pandemic. We ask that you bless every one of us the benefactors, the administrators, the faculty, non-teaching staff, parents, and most of all, the graduating class called the class of conquerors. May this be a beginning to further brave the challenges of life, life's long journey ahead of us, so that in everything we may be found thriving and contributing to our society, adding to the beacon of hope for those who have been disheartened by the present worldwide health concern. We pray that this year's graduating class will conquer new horizons for their personal growth, their community, and beyond. We glorify you in all of this, in whose name we pray. Amen. May we put ourselves in the spirit of patriotism as we sing our national anthem. Kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, hewas ng sinahanan, alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay. Upang hinihang, huyag ka ng magiting, sa mandulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatang tutok sa Ay, 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 ay,
family, welcome us all. Let us hear the message of the Chairman of the Board, Mr. Alan Boreo, to be delivered by Mr. Ronald Orejola, the Vice Chairman. Our dear graduates, parents and friends, school year 2019 to 2020 started normally just like all other years in the past. Little did we know that it would unexpectedly end in a highly unusual and very difficult setting with the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, commencement exercises in all schools throughout the country and the world were unceremoniously cancelled. For the first time in so many decades, graduating students were denied their long-awaited moment of marching down the aisle and going up the academic stage to receive their hard-earned diplomas. It was certainly a hazard and a painful experience for both the graduates and their parents, as well as for the school administration, faculty, and staff. As we now gather together for this long overdue and less ceremonious virtual event, let us not lose sight of the success that graduation bestows to all concerned. More importantly, let us not fail to thank God Almighty for the gift of affordable and quality education that the NQCI has provided and continues to pursue in the service of the poor communities in this part of our region. Above all, let us thank Him for keeping our beloved school open while many others, big and small, suffered painful closures due to the pandemic. With the completion of your studies, dear graduates, you are now called upon to do your share in building a prosperous nation wherever you may be placed, locally or overseas. It is now your responsibility to do justice to the education that you receive from your alma mater. Make her better known by the fruits of your labor as true professionals. We, therefore, enjoin you to leave the hardships of the pandemic behind and move on to curb your own career where your competence, talents, and skills will be the most useful. Aim high to achieve more and never give up, no matter what comes your way. As NQCA alumni, never limit your horizon to the confines and interests of your family and friends, but make it your own mission to contribute to the nation building the best of your ability. It is only by doing that you will meaningfully give back to your community and to the Lord in gratitude for the privilege of good education, which we all know many others may never have. In closing, let me congratulate each and every one of you in behalf of the Board of Trustees. Let me also thank your parents for the continued trust and support to NQCI. Again, Congratulations and mabuhay ang NQCI. Thank you, sir, for that heartwarming message. May we also hear another message from our supportive college president, Sir Ricardo O. Makasay III. Halos isang kembot na lang sana at tiyak. Masayang masaya kayong lahat kasama ang inyong buong pamilyang masasaksihan ang inyong pagtatapos. Indeed, you already passed and completed all the academic requirements even without the formal or the usual graduation ceremony. However, as your president, I know how important and meaningful it would be to every one of you to enjoy the fruit of your labor. For this reason, we initially suspended your graduation ceremony hoping that the imposition of the community lockdown and the pandemic will not take long as we expected. But unfortunately, up to this date, our government is implementing various restrictions to protect the welfare of the general public. As a result, we are forced to adjust to the new normal way of living. However, knowing the value of the face-to-face -face graduation ceremony to all of you, we drafted a graduation program that somehow conforms to the Interagency Task Force guidelines. Thereafter, we officially wrote to the Commission on Higher Education to seek their approval for us to hold a face-to-face -face graduation ceremony, but it was consequently denied. At least, we tried. 
Despite the present circumstances and the challenges that we have right now, let me say that we successfully confronted a year of global pandemic as an individual and as an institution. We remain strong and resilient. Do not allow this pandemic or any crisis to ruin your future. Instead, use your skills and talent during this ordinary situation to develop your full potentials. This pandemic brought some changes in our ways of life, especially with regards to the new and old jobs. You need to be flexible in looking for what you'd like to do for a living. You may be initially offered with work that is not of interest to you, but has the potential to fit your future plans. So please don't put a limit on what diplomas say you are. Accept the challenge with dignity and honor, and when you succeed, always remember your moral responsibility to help the community and serve our Lord Jesus Christ. We must also be thankful that we have NQCI in this part of the country that provides affordable, quality education. Before I end, let me express my deepest gratitude to our Chairperson, Mr. Alan E. Boreo, Vice Chairperson, Mr. Ronald P. Orejula, to the members of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Jaime Stablisida, uh, Ms. Malu Avila, Mr. Juanito Gosilacar, Mr. Alejo Romantico, Ms. Emily Burgo, Ms. Presentacion Pojeda, and Ms. Yolanda R. Crisostomo for the support and cooperation to the school management. To our Dean, Dr. Ferdinand C. Lacuata, and QCI employees, and of course, to the person behind this virtual graduation, Ms. Jelly Mandani. Maraming maraming salamat. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at ibalik po natin sa Diyos ang pinakamataas na papuri at pasasalamat. Once again, graduates of 2019-2020, Congratulations. To do the honors of presenting the school year's candidates for graduation, may we have on our screen our very own DSBA Department Head, Dr. Ruben Sanchez. Mr. President, in behalf of the college dean, upon the recommendation of the faculty members of the graduate school department, I have the honor to present to you 77 candidates for graduation leading to the degree Master of Arts in Education, major in Educational Management, who have successfully completed all the academic requirements as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education, Republic of the Philippines. The conferment of degrees and titles will be done by the college president. Acting on the recommendations of the faculties concerned and by virtue of the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees and the Commission on Higher Education, I hereby confer upon each of you graduates of 2019-2020 with all your rights, honors, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Mabuhay po tayo na. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to present to you the graduates of Master of Arts in Education, Major in Educational Management, Batch 2019-2020. Asis Michael M. Thesis title, Classroom Management by the Elementary Teachers, Inputs for Intervention Instruction. Astoveza Christine R. Towards an effective collaboration of kindergarten teachers of Infanta Schools District, Quezon Province. Azagra Shane. Thesis title, Understanding Elementary School Teachers' Attitude Towards Mathematics, a Phenomenological Study. Bonto Vivian Rea. Thesis title, Learning Difficulties in Performing Science Process Skills at PCAB Elementary School, Input for Enhanced Classroom Instructions. Coronation Annie A. Thesis title, Utilization of Information and Communication Technology, or ICT in the Delivery of Quality Service in the District of Infant. Corpus Melogy. This is titled, Relationship of Behavior with Academic Performance in Mathematics by the Grade 10 Learners in One Public High School. Crisostomo Glenda. This is titled, Electronic Media, Its Relationship to Teaching Performance of Elementary Teachers in Infanta District. Crisostomo Marcy M. This is titled, 
School-Based Management Practices for Teachers' Morale. Garibay Angelica D. Thesis Title, Predictors of Work, Attitude, and Commitment of Elementary Teachers. Jimenez Gregoria S. Thesis Title, Crafting Intervention Program from Junior and Senior High School Students' Attitude Towards Teenage Pregnancy and Family Values. Morada Jovel. Thesis title, Antecedents of Academic Performance of Pupils from Dysfunctional Families. Morilia Carisma Renzelin D. Thesis title, Parental Roles at Home and in School Among Kindergarten Parents in Infante District, Infante Quezon, Inputs to School and Community Relations. Peña Verde Antonet. Thesis title, Association of Parental Separation with the Academic Performance of Intermediate Learners at Magsaysay Elementary School in Fanta, Quezon. Pestañas Maria Lee. Thesis title, The Teaching of Problem Solving in Mathematics by Public Elementary Teachers. Porquerino Lizel. Thesis title, Peer Tutorial, a Technique to Enhance Reading Comprehension in English of Grade 6 Pupils. Pujeda Jona Marie N. Thesis title, Assessment on the Teacher's Implementation of MTV MLE in the School District of Infante Quezon Province. Rabuel Lirio. Thesis title, Derivation of Effective Supervision for Education Internship Program from the Students' Categorization of Challenges and Problems. Santiago Merigi. Thesis title, Parents' Perception on Kindergarten Pupils' Readiness for Learning in Ongos Elementary School. Serrano Rahel Che. Thesis title, Eating Patterns of Junior High School. A case study. Sing Michelle B. Thesis title: Parent-teacher involvement in the elementary schools of Panta District. A comparison. Teope Kizel Joy. Thesis title: The teaching of literacy and numeracy by grade one teachers. Basis for instructional management program. Accorda Jonah A. Thesis title. Effectiveness of blended instruction among intermediate teachers of Bagong Nayon 4 Elementary School and Analysis. Aveno Sheryl G. Thesis title, A Portrait of Underprivileged Children in Tanawan Elementary School, a case study. Avila Alexandra. Thesis title, Problems Encountered in Teaching Listening Comprehension, a case study. IS Baby Lens A. Thesis title, Problems and Challenges Encountered in Teaching Reading by Selected Teachers of Real District. Azoge Rosella P. Thesis title, The Collaborative Strategies in General Nakar District 2, Visibis Pupils Learning, A Basis for Enhanced Teacher Development Program. Bandejas Renolin A. Thesis title, Teaching Multi-Grade Schools in the Upland Barrios of Real District, a case study. Bernardo Arvin D.L. Thesis title, Practices and Challenges of Game-Based Strategy in the Teaching Learning Process in Multi-Grade Teachers of General Nakar District, Implications to Instructional Management. Desmonte Norilin P. Thesis title, Correlation Among Social Acceptability, Educational Adjustment, and Academic Performance of Agta Students at Bordeaux, Quezon. Castidades Thelma M. Thesis title, Problems in the Implementation of the Mother Tongue-Based Instruction in Mathematics Among Public School Teachers in Infante District. Kombalisar Maria Elaine Z. Thesis title, Teaching Performance and the Challenges in the Implementation of RPMS, Result-Based Performance Management System, PPST, 
Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, a correlation. Consulta Christine C. Thesis title, Comparative Assessment on the Implementation of the Disaster Risk Reduction Management in Patnanungan District. Cuento Maridel V. Thesis title, A Case Study on Student Athletes of Infanta District. Cuerdo Jericho M. Thesis title, Lived Experiences of Teachers in the Far Flag Schools of General Nacar Tenso. De Leon Chinli A. Thesis title, Factors Affecting the Academic Performance of Grade 6 Learners in the Northern Schools in Polillo District. Inputs to Teachers' Effective Instruction. Dig Honey Grace S. Thesis title, Level of Linguistic Competency of Second-Year English Majors and its Relationship with their Academic Performance. Inputs to Improve Linguistic Competence and Academic Performance. Dries Lizel F. Thesis title, Learning Measurement Through Interactive Learning Chain, Implications for Effective Mathematics Teaching. Eskama Hana Ariel P. Thesis title, Implementation of the Mother Tongue-Based Multilingual Education or MTB MLE in Selected Primary Schools in Infanta District. Febrer Desiree D. Thesis title, Analysis of School-Based Management Practices in Selected Elementary Schools in Real District. Derivation of Implications for Educational Management Initiatives. Flora Robert S. Thesis title, Success Stories of the Dumaga Remontado Graduates of Barangay Lumutan General Nacar Quezon, a Phenomenological Study. Garil Orin P. Thesis title, A Correlation of Effectiveness and Challenges in the Implementation of Mother Tongue-Based Multilingual Education. Gavino Fami G. Thesis title, Comparison between Stakeholders Assessment on the School and Family Relationship in Selected Schools in Polillo District Towards a Strengthening Parent-Teacher Program. Hepe Elmer D. Thesis title, A Tree with Water Deprivation, the Lived Experiences of Multi-Grade Teachers in Bagong Silang Elementary School, Real District. Hermogenes Leia. Thesis title, Effective Instructional Management Program for Senior High School non yums graduates enrolled in the New Teacher Education Program. Isidro John Kennedy. Thesis title, A Body Study Against One Body Study Learning Strategies in Enhancing the Academic Performance of Students in Mathematics 6. Munoza Maricel P. Thesis title, An Analysis of Teachers' Experiences on Absenteeism Among Dumaga Tremontado in Dumutan Elementary School. Munoza Vanessa U. Thesis title, Status of School-Based Feeding Program in Infanta District Towards an Enhancing Program. Darita Jonaros P. Thesis title, Lived Experiences of Dumaga Tremontado Parents as Beneficiaries of Pantawid Pamilyang Filipino Program in Barangay Upper Lumutan General Nacar Quezon Province. Lumibay Rita Thesis title, Comparative Study on the Parental Involvement in Malabanban Sur Elementary School, Candelaria East District. Marquez Ronalyn B. Thesis title, The Teaching of Indigenous Learners at General Nacar District 2, Inputs for Instructional Management Initiatives. Mendoza Maria Melanie M. Thesis title, Essential Components of Classroom Management, The Case of Kindergarten Teachers of Infanta District. Mercadejas Maria IVB. Thesis title, Assessment on the Level of Practices of Elementary Schools in Real District, Inputs for Effective Management. Morada Madibel P. Thesis title, 
motivation and learning style of the indigenous learners of Bonifacio Elementary School. Input in crafting a contextualized module in ESP. Negrite Ronaline M. Thesis title, The Level of the School and Community Participation in Patnanungan Central School, Patnanungan, Quezon. Odi Agnes. Thesis title, The Status of Early Language Literacy and Numeracy Instruction in Real District, Quezon Province. Peregrina Lovelin S. Thesis title, Assessment of Competences and Practices of ICT Coordinators, Basis for Training Program. Portello Cherry M. Thesis title, Stakeholders' Involvement in Multigrade Schools in Real District, Strengthening Inputs for School Community Partnership. Potestades Rose Thesis title, Participation of PTA in Promoting School Community Relations, The Case of Katitaba Cluster of Schools in Real District. Prudente Jerry V. Thesis title, Leadership Behaviors Practices and Problems Encountered Among School Heads in General Nakar District 1 and 2. Inputs for a Training Program. Pusancho Mary Ann P. Thesis title, Teachers' Organizational Commitment in Relation to the Performance of Public Elementary School Teachers in Infanta District. Inputs for Faculty Enhancement Program. Ritual Jessa A. Thesis title, Teaching and Classroom Management Highlights, The Case of Selected Multigrade Teachers in General Nakar Quezon. Romantico Karen V. Thesis title, Dumaga Tremontado's Home and Learning Environment in the Upstream Barrio of General Nakar Quezon, a case study. Romero Judian S. Thesis title, Construction and Validation of Northern Quezon College Incorporated Entrance Exam. Rotacchio Godfrey D. Thesis title, Relationship between Elementary Teachers' Job Satisfaction and the Implementation of SBM in Polilio Schools District. Some Pragmatic Implementing Principles. Rotacchio Roden M. Thesis title, Difficulties in Teaching Practical Research Subjects, a Qualitative Study. Sagun Julian O. Thesis title, Phonological Awareness Instruction of Kindergarten Teachers in Infanta District. Sanchez Diana R. Thesis title, Bulsol. Lived experiences of selected multi-grade teachers in far-flung schools of General Nakar District 1. Santelices Noel Q. Thesis title, Tracer Study of Pumos National High School Extension Liaba, Senior High School Graduates, and Analysis. Tatel Jonah A. Thesis title, Reading from Screen. An upshot on reading comprehension in English among grade 6 pupils in Yavak Elementary School. Texon Jennifer R. Thesis title, Relationship of Teaching Styles with Challenges of Junior High School Teachers in Real District. Tena Norman B. Thesis title, the Factors Affecting Mathematics, Academic Performance Among Intermediate Pupils at Patnanungan District, Patnanungan, Quezon. Vargas John Carlo R. Thesis title, Mobile Legends, Dang Bang Affecting the Behavior and Academic Performance of the Selected Students in Tongguni National High School Year 2019-2020. Vargas Mary Claudine Joy A. This is titled Publication of Teacher Strategies to the Learner's Interest in Science of Tongolin National High School. 
Pargas Rosevel M. Thesis title, Assessment on the Implementation of School Disaster Risk Reduction and Management, or SDRRM, in all public elementary school of Infanta District. Villanueva Princess Mika C. Thesis title, Teachers' Readiness in Teaching the Comprehensive Sexuality Education Curriculum in General Nakar District 2. Inputs for Instructional Delivery Protocol. Villamen Breca. Thesis title, Lead the Experiences of Teachers in Handling Learners with Special Needs in an Island Municipality of Quezon Province. May we now witness the Pledge of Loyalty. Let us all rise for our pledge of loyalty. Let us raise our right hand and repeat after me. I pledge loyalty to God, Sovereign Lord and Master, by following His commandments of love, love of God and love of fellow men. I pledge loyalty to my country, the Republic of the Philippines by striving to be always a law-abiding citizen to the best of my ability I pledge loyalty to my school and QCI by upholding her ideas and aspirations to live a life which is open to the needs of others. So help me God.
Incorporated, who may be viewing us all in the Philippines and around the world. Let us together witness Mr. Ryan Lloyd Durango for the induction of graduates to the Alumni Association. By the virtue of the authority vested upon me as the President of Alumni Association of Northern Kelson College Incorporated, I hereby solemnly induct you to the Association. Graduated of Northern Quezon College Incorporated, are you willing to become members of the Alumni Association of Northern Quezon College Incorporated? Do you pledge to abide by the rules of and regulations of the association? Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. In the presence of God, I hereby pledge my loyalty to the Northern Quezon College Incorporated. I also promise that in both public and private life, I shall observe the high standard of Christian principles, justice and charity, so that my conduct shall give honor and glory to God, to people, and my alma mater. Congratulations and welcome to the NQCI NQCC Alumni Association. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends commencement exercises for Batch 2019-2020. To the graduates, congratulations. To all the viewers, thank you.